And as more Afghans try to leave the country, neighboring countries are prepare, preparing for an increase in migrants. Some Afghans who worked for Western organizations are leaving for Europe, while along the Greek and Turkish borders, more barriers are being built to try and stem immigrants. Yolo Ap Dafid reports. Starting a new life, these Afghans were met at a military airfield outside Madrid. Almost 150, including children, are in the first wave to be evacuated from the Afghan capital. The Spanish authorities are preparing for more. This camp could house a thousand, a field of tents waiting for a new generation of refugees, which earlier attracted some senior politicians who came to see the facilities for themselves. Spanish hub, this uh, European hub, organized to provide support and uh, any help to our Afghan collaborators and uh, refugees uh, represents the values and principles of the European Union. In the UK, British Afghans are also trying to help their fellow nationals, many of whom are trying to escape what they fear will be persecution under Taliban control, especially those employed by or who had relatives working for the government or as interpreters for NATO forces. We are trying here to do advocacy and lobbying on behalf of you in the UK as well as in the Western society. New barriers are built along Turkey's border with Iran as well as the Greek border in Western Turkey. Greek ministers were shown what they say is a new 40 kilometer fence and a surveillance system. The government's concerned that the instability in Afghanistan will lead to an increase in migrants. In 2015, conflict in Syria brought almost a million migrants to Europe. The Afghan crisis is creating new facts in the geopolitical sphere, and at the same time, it's likely to create more migrants. We're a European country working inside the European Union, and decisions are made within this framework, but we can't wait passively for any possible impact. Migration into Greece, Spain and Italy especially hasn't stopped. Arrivals in Greece have slowed significantly since 2016 when the EU agreed a deal with Turkey to stop people crossing the border in exchange for financial support. Because of that, 3.5 million Syrian refugees have remained in Turkey. But thousands in Afghanistan seem desperate to leave. Kabul's main airport is inundated as Afghans hope to be allowed to fly out. Yolo Abdavid. CGTN.